this is the first test of the uh, Senna 50C communicator and camera. I previously had a 10C Pro, but I managed to get my hands on the 50C to see what if any difference it makes. Obviously the 50C is a new breed, uses Bluetooth 5, also has a 4K camera. I don't use the 4K camera that much. So for this particular test today, it's uh, nearly one o'clock in the afternoon. I've got the settings at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, with the electronic image stabilizer running. I've got the mic audio gain set to the default setting which is medium so I uh, I rise with, a, with the visor open so wind noise is going to be interesting Just doing the highway speed limit at the moment for this section of the road, which is 90 kilometres per hour. Obviously, I'm not sure how the camera is positioned in relation to where it's looking. Some minor adjustment will probably be necessary. I have the boom microphone attached to the to the 50C, so it's just behind the chin bar, and it's probably just below my lower lip, so I'll be interested to see what it does pick up. It has the uh, automatic noise control feature turned on. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll take this bit of a run, see how it goes. There's a lot of discussion on, the, on forums in relation to this particular unit. People comparing it to other cameras, which I think is a little bit unfair. I mean, the only, re the only comparison you can really make with this camera to another is the... Uh, Center's own 10C Pro and 10C or the Evo. Things like the DJI Osmo Action on the GoPros, well, they're, they're just totally different cameras to this particular unit. So I'm not going to make a comparison between those and this one. If uh, DJI had a communicator and built in, as did uh, GoPro, well then you would do that comparison, but outside of that, well, to be honest, I think it's just a total waste of time, 110 kilometers per hour, Let's see how this goes, sound through the uh, onboard speakers is quite nice, I have uh, my onboard radio uh, being bluetooth up to the unit I have a bluetooth module attached to the bike that allows the uh, built-in entertainment system to communicate with the unit I've got the volume set to 12 so it's not even halfway and 
I can hear it quite well. I've got the radio playing in the background. So the radio coming off the bike. Bit of a look down by the uh, coastline. Temperature today is uh, 17 degrees Celsius. Well, it's not, not too bad at all, really. So this section of the road is uh, 70 kilometers per hour. Again, I'm only reading out the speed, so I know when I look at the uh, the video later on, uh, if there's any noticeable difference. Obviously, I can't change any settings on the on the 50C while I'm riding along, so I'll have to do it over a number of days, I, I guess. So this is what it sounds like with the visor closed. Audio is quite good through the speakers. It's only about a, I don't know. 40, 50 minute ride. I'll do no need for anything longer than that, I don't think. I spot the coast. I have the camera set to uh, loop recording so it acts like a bit of a uh, a dash cam when the card the memory card that's installed which is uh, 128 gigs if it fills up then the camera will go back to the start and record over the oldest file that's on there Hence the term loop recording. You can't video tag with this unit. The unit has to be in loop record for video tagging. And to video tag on the unit, you press a button on, on the device for three seconds or five seconds from memory. What that will do, that will save the previous three minutes, the current three minutes, and three minutes after. So I'll have to give it a, I'll have to give it a try on the way back. I think I've never actually used it to be honest. I just record and in loop in loop mode, and that breaks the files up into three minute, three minute video files which are then just dump onto the computer and uh, stick it in the editing software. I find it easier to edit smaller chunks of video than one huge video file that may be you know, 50, 60 or 120 minutes long. This way I can sort of move bits around if I need to. I also, as a bit of an experiment, I have a uh, an audio recorder. It's a Tascam DR05, and that is sitting in my 
in the boot of the bike with a lapel microphone attached to it and I've got the microphone sandwiched between the the rear compartment and the back seat. I, I did a bit of an experiment at home and to see whether you could hear anything. And um, yeah, you could. It, was, it wasn't very loud, but then I can I can tweak it in the software. Again, bit of an experiment. Something like I hadn't done before.